is my first um, hit film. I'm very proud. I think as a team, we've worked very hard. I hope I carry on giving hit films. My second film, I've worked with Amir Khan. I don't think I could have asked for anything more. I think language is never a barrier. If you can perform and you can pull it off, it doesn't matter. Amir Khan, the perfectionist, can okay a take of mine in Hindi, then I don't think anyone else should have a problem. Next film will be uh, Ken Ghosh musical opposite Shahid Kapoor, and that should release, I think, uh, summer, and then House Full will release Divine. Uh, yes, some of the drivers are pretty cute, but actually for me it's more about the need for speed. Um, I have a sort of passion for speed. I don't know whether it's the sort of adrenaline rush or the beautiful cars, um, but I've, I've loved cars and speed for a long time now. So Formula One, I've been watching since like, the age of 10. Um, yeah, I find it fun, you know, when you, when you have free time in between shots and you don't want to read. Then, then it's fun to like you know play games on your phone or online. So it's it's a good time for us. And we, um, yeah, it was a fantastic experience. And uh, you know it's it's become a huge blockbuster. So thank you all for for making it such a big. Jia Khan, a London raised Knight Bridge school girl, became an overnight sensation in Bollywood after she was escorted for her first film while on holiday in India. The stunning 25 year old actress starred in two more blockbusters, was hailed a shining new talent by directors, and was dating the son of Bollywood royalty. So, when the news of her tragic death merged, there was an outpouring of grief and shock with tribute from fans and some of the industry's biggest names. Labored a suicide, Gia's death had the hallmarks of the demise of a troubled starlet, with police saying that she had been struggling with the pressures of the industry and her relationship ending. But a series of inconsistencies and speculation plagued the case, and on the day of her funeral, a six-page letter written by Gia was discovered detailing abuse at the hands of her boyfriend, Solaj Panchol. Ten years on from her death, the Indian actor was acquitted of abating her suicide at a Central Bureau of Investigation special court in Mumbai last month, with Mr. Panchol declaring truth always wins. Gia's family, however, rejected the ruling and accused Indian authorities of sweeping her death under the carpet. Her mother, Raibyan Khan, has vowed to keep fighting for her daughter and said this case was on the wrong track from the beginning. It should have been an investigation of murder. Gia was found hanged in her flat in Juhu, Mumbai on June 3rd, 2013. Her mother made the tragic discovery after going out for dinner with friends. Thank you so much for watching and may her soul rest in peace.